Let's take a look at some worked examples where we work with parallel lines. Please pause the video here and try these on your own and then you can check your answers from the video. Number one, find the equation of the line that is parallel to 3y is equal to 2x plus 1, which passes through 2 and negative 1. So with these questions, what is often useful is to separate what your original equation was or the given equation given equation and the new equation that you are being asked to find. Okay, so the original or the given equation is 3y is equal to 2x plus 1. The relationship between the original equation and the new equation is that they are parallel and because they are parallel, we know that the gradients of the two lines will be equal. So what I need to do is to be able to find the gradient of the equation that was given originally. So remember, you can only read the gradient from an equation if your equation is in standard form. So we need to get it into the form y is equal to mx plus c, and we do that by dividing through by 3. That means that the gradient of this equation is 2 thirds. Because the lines are parallel, we know that the gradient of the new equation will also be 2 thirds because we were told that the lines are parallel. So the new equation will have the form y equals mx plus c. We know the gradient will be 2 thirds. We don't know what the y-intercept will be, so we need to use the coordinate of the point that they gave us. Okay, because the line, they told us that the line is parallel to this line and passes through 2 and negative 1. So we replace y with negative 1, we replace x with 2, and if we solve for c there, we get negative 7 over 3. So therefore, our final equation will be 2 thirds x minus 7 over 3. Okay, question 2. Are the following lines parallel? Show all working and give a reason. Okay, so if we think about what makes lines parallel, we know that lines that are parallel have equal gradients. So if line 1 and line 2 have the same gradient, then they will be parallel. If they don't have the same gradient, then they will not be parallel. So if we start with line 1, a half y plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. We can only decide what the gradient is when it is in standard form. So we need to get it into the form y equals mx plus c. We now multiply by 2, and line 1's equation is negative 4x plus 2. Line 2, 2y is equal to negative 8x minus 4. We need to divide through by 2. That gives us negative 4x minus um, 2. So therefore, if we have a look, that gradient and that gradient are the same. So therefore, line 1 is parallel to line 2, and the reason is because gradient of line 1 is equal to the gradient of line 2.